can get the rock in here first. <coughs> now oh, let's spread out the uh, leather. The rock came inside my shoe. And now I'm like, you gotta come back. Oh no, I'm no Stop it. Hey, I'm recording. We are? Yep. Oh, sorry. Let's put everything out here nice and neat. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna try to describe everything. Okay, I just spent the last uh, three hours, I guess, assembling and dressing the uh, napping tools for my abo kit. A lot of these I've already shown before. This is kind of new. I've I've um, made some of these inserts for this indirect percussion tool. Let's see if I can get this out. It's just a piece of antler. I also made some other ones. Some are bone, some are antler. These two are bone, uh, cow bone. These two are antler. They just set in there. No glue or anything. Uh, I dressed up these. These are loose antler tines. I'll be using these for indirect percussion and I may use them for direct percussion or as or for a mallet. I uh, tried to improve this pad by sanding down the uh, edges at an angle. This is a piece of bone and it goes into the uh, larger end of this indirect percussion tool. This one also fits, I believe. Yeah. So I'll be using these in the upcoming videos. I've got some really sharp antlers for uh, serrations to see if they work. I haven't had much success with that. I've had more success with using a biface for uh, notching. So I'll be using this one. I also have a couple other stones here. This is. Uh, this is, I uh, can't remember now, but okay, this is a piece of chert rhyolite. This is a piece of rhyolite, the toughest stuff I have. And I'll be using this for pressure flaking for the serrations and notching. Okay. 